Hello and welcome to my channel. Did you know that the first Buddha was black and from Egypt? Well, if you didn't, then this video is a must watch. If you're new on my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell because my videos are always interesting. With that said, let's take a look at this sister's video. Fun fact, the first Buddha actually came from Egypt and he was black. The first Buddha was black and came from Egypt. So, you know, I be dibbling, dabbling in Buddhism. Now, when it comes to such topics, it's always interesting because there are always arguments between races claiming that Jesus was this race and not this race. And now the Buddha, it's a lot, guys. People trying to change or whitewash history. It's really a lot. But come with me as we check out uh, these teachers. And when I come back, we talk more about this issue and I share my two cents on this video. Here are the teachers. Fun fact, the first Buddha actually came from Egypt and he was black. Every day reality looks more and more surreal. It always amazes me how confident a person can be once they are unburdened by the intellect. Human mind truly has no limits when it's empty. But let's treat this claim seriously. That's what I mean when I say that the less we know, more confident we are. Buddha's hair is not actually hair. It's 108 snails who sacrificed themselves to protect his head from scorched sun while he was meditating. It's one of the most famous legends about Buddha. And before claiming him as your own, you probably should study his life enough to know it. But let's continue. If you look at any of the original pictures of the Buddha, you'll clearly see the Bantu knots, woolly hair, and clear African facial features. As you can see, me and the Buddha have similar facial features. According to the legend, Buddha was from Nepal, and that's how a person from Nepal looks like. Or this, or maybe this. You can clearly see that the depiction of Buddha used as a proof of him being black, clearly inspired by Nepalese people. But even if he wasn't from Nepal, statement that if you have full lips you must be black is something Joe Biden would say. That's how Chinese person look like, for example. Or Vietnamese person. People all over the world look different. You cannot claim the whole Buddha just because on one of the thousand statues he has full lips. And now to the last argument. Krishna means the black one. And Buddha means the black face. Buddha means enlightened. And Krishna, yes indeed, means the black one. But the thing is, Krishna is not Buddha. <laughs> so it's not exactly relevant to the conversation. Now that you know all of that, I want you to re-watch the beginning of the video. Simply to enjoy how confident, how loud and how terribly wrong people can be. Remember this next time somebody is constantly yelling nonsense in your face. Now enjoy. We're all so black. Are some people in the black community really this insecure? Yes, and I said some before you guys ripped my head off. About black historical figures? Because it's not like there's no black historical figures. There's quite a few actually. But I've been noticing more and more videos of primarily black creators reaching and stretching and fabricating to make it seem like these obviously white historical figures were actually black. Have you guys heard about this one? Is Beethoven black? No, he absolutely was not black. Do you guys realize how silly you sound? Beethoven was literally born in Bonn, Germany, in Deutschland, and he died in Wien, Austria, in Österreich. His dad is from Mechelen, which is in Belgium. This is what he looked like back then. And his mom is also German. Yeah, these were Germans in the 18th century. It's almost like some people want to completely erase positive white history without thinking about how idiotic it sounds. Bet he won't blackwash Schmittler. Go ahead. From Egypt, and he was. Oh boy, where to start with this one? So Buddha's from Egypt. Yeah, my friend, I think you're way off on that one. Buddha comes from the mountains of Nepal. Okay, with very vast differences between Nepal and Egypt. All right. And Buddha and other videos he does, Buddha does not mean a path to salvation. Buddha means a path of enlightenment. Okay. That's what it means. All right? And I highly doubt you've dabbled in Buddhism. You don't even know what Buddhism is. You don't even know where Buddha comes from. You think he, Buddha comes from Africa. Give me a break, dude. Th this kid can't be this stupid. Oh, my God. Is, th is this the future? Uh, is this the future of our world? The uneducated masses? Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. 
that this is what people actually believe. That they're this stupid that they actually believe this. This world is doomed and this generation is doomed. <sighs> Mermo out. So I don't know if you're trying to be funny, but in case you're not, yes, indeed, the original Buddha was black. Or I should say Buddhas. If you don't believe me, please join me. If you look at any of the original pictures of the Buddha, you'll clearly see the Bantu knots, woolly hair, and clear African facial features. As you can see, me and the Buddha have similar facial features. Once again, and I'll give you one more. Clear African facial features. So yes, the original Buddha was black. And for your Jesus comments, I already made previous videos on that. Let's say Jesus was real, he would definitely be black because the original Middle Eastern people was black, just like everywhere else on the planet. And FYI, I know you're trying to be funny because I see the laughing emoji, but in case you really wasn't trying to be funny, now you know, even if you're going to want to deny it because you might be ignorant. Peace, peace. Then he was black. You think that the Buddha is a black? The Buddha is not a black. The Buddha is a... <laughs> is the embodiment of the universe. He does not have a physical form or kara. You see, the Buddha himself is the embodiment of the high universe. Everything else, bullshit lie. Now you see, the other Buddhas that come afterwards, the Raffing Buddha, the non raffing Buddha, all of them, those were all people that came from the Southeast Asian region, like India and Tibet and the China, possibly even Mongolia. But you see, you would know this if you did anything uh, other than just talk out of ass. It is, uh, hmm, let's see, it is Southeast Asian religion. Not a brag. Definitely not from Egypt. Please, for the love of God, take history, Chris. From Egypt, and he was exactly y'all. Everyone in history was black. Everyone, even God himself, is, is black. So it's Jesus. The Pharaoh, the Greek philosophers, everyone. Plato, Pluto, everybody. Everybody is black. Cleopatra was also black. Have you guys forgotten if she was black? I do not whitewash history. Everything is black. Everything. Everybody is black. What is happening? Cheers, love. Even the ancient Mesopotamians were black. Roman Empire, black. The Sui Dynasty, all of them. Obviously, Disney has caught on. The rest of you should too. Fun fact. Buddha was very likely what Americans would consider black, but it's not certain if he was born in Africa or not. So Buddha very likely was a black man, but he could have been born in South Central Asia as has been long recorded in historical documents. Or perhaps he migrated from Africa, but his continental origin does not change the beautiful dark melanin and powerful tightly curled hair that crowned his head. The Asian black Buddha status of the East depicts him with woolly textured hair. They were either in cornrows or a peppercorn hairstyle with a small tight twist. His features were aphroid with a wide nose and full lips in most asian temples throughout asia and india which are still places of worship today he is painted black the original meaning of the buddha name referred to the title of a man or man belonging to a priesthood possibly steaming from ancient egypt its deeper meaning is enlightened one blessed one or to become awake even though buddhism was established 500 years before christianity its tenets are reflected in the bible and other sacred texts now there has been numerous buddhas who have been identified through the ages therefore it is evident that buddhism did not originate in china or japan despite the fact that millions of adherents do so across asia the black god's religion was widely practiced throughout europe and even in the most remote regions of britain during the reign of the black king ashoka buddhism actually originated in the indian subcontinent where the indus valley civilization was was founded by black people who had moved from Ethiopia some 50,000 years ago. The earliest human civilization was founded by two distinct black groups from Africa. The Dravidian had straight hair and an equilling nose, while the Nam 
Nabion had broad features and woolly nappy hair both were early descendants descended directly from black people now black africans ruled the world during the time of the buddha some 2500 years ago 500 bc however about 500 years ago the aryans invaded northern india forcing the native inhabitants to seek refuge in the southern regions of India subsequently suppressed the black people through Christianity and Judaism. This perverted form of the black religion secured their ascendancy while oppressing the blacks. These palm color nomadic tribes that invaded in India were actually civilized by black people, but like their Greek relatives, these palm color systematically suppressed the black people and obliterated their wonderful civilization. Let's now take a look at how different people reacted in the comments. Trust me, a lot of palm color people commented on this video let me just share a few comments from some of them the first comment reads they gotta try to claim everything then have the nerve to talk about culture appropriating if the original buddha was black then why are the buddhist texts in sankrit and pali and not any african language it's amazing to me that black people can represent any race or ethnic group but if palm color people do that it is art to the cyst. What's funny is that you started civilization and let everyone take it from you with no resistance. Everyone was black and everyone is currently black. Okay, guys, there, there are just a lot of comments. I can go on and on, but what do you guys have to say about this video? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section and thank you for watching.